Now we're back to Inkscape. Let me show you the new Shape Builder tool. At least it's new for now. And the recently published version 1.3. Let me just create an ellipse. I'll get rid of its fill. And if you see one of these half circles or these pie circles with the cutout, you can fix it up here on the top by using 0 to 360 degrees or clicking on the fully closed circle. So let us start here. I press Ctrl C and I copy it three times so that we have four circles. And so just show the general idea of the tool. I manually place these circles over one another. Keep in mind they don't have a fill, so it's just a stroke. If you now select it all and then activate the Shape Builder tool, program detects it as a shape. We've got two modes right here. You know what, let me reposition my window here so that you can see the tooltips. So here's the Shape Builder tool and you can click on the plus or the minus sign up here. For plus sign you will add with a left click shapes to your selection. And if you've got at the top left the minus sign active, you can left click and remove parts of your selection. So blue is what we will keep. Everything else is see through. Just confirm it. It looks like nothing has happened, but if we add a fill, you can now see it. And these are individual shapes that we can move around like this. Let me show you a real life example for, let's say, icon design. I'll create a rectangle. I want to have rounded corners, so I drag this circle downwards. Let me size it up a little bit, and I have to reposition the circle right here. So this is where I want to start. Ctrl C, Ctrl V three times, so I want to have four of these. Double click on this one, and I hold Ctrl and rotate it like this, then I reposition it. Final one again. I click on it two times, so control, rotate it, reposition it. Now select it all, activate the shape builder tool. We'll start with the plus sign, so we want to add, then left click in sensor and the four outer shapes. I'll switch to minus. Left click on these four shapes, confirm. And now we've got the command I can create it in seconds using the Shape Builder to an Inkscape. This is one of the tools that are new in Inkscape 1.3. I'll try to cover them all on my channel. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.